How you doing, fam bam? This is Chris Mizo here, and I'm excited to talk to you about AMD's Ryzen 7000 series, their new lineup for Zen 4 processors. They're going to do a live announcement on August 29th, and more than likely, they're going to release all the different series that they will have. They will officially announce the 7600X, the 7650X, and so on. One of the most interesting finds is the fact that AMD may delay their processor because originally it was slated to be out by September 15th. Will it remain to be true? Will they release at least one processor out then? There are some sources, which are reviewers, which had admittedly said that AMD's new Ryzen 7000 series processors may be delayed due to BIOS upgrades, that there is some sort of incompatibility. They wanna make sure that everything is running perfectly straight and fine. This is gonna be a big development for AMD, especially that they are going to progress into PCI Express 5.0. They are also going into DDR5 and they will be using a new chipsets. So they want to make sure they have full compatibility with these new processors, make sure that they work properly with the new motherboards, that they don't run into the same issues such as Intel's 12th generations with ASUS's motherboards, but to no fault to Intel for that side of things but it, they don't want to run into any type of issues similar to that kind of situation. AMD may officially announce it then on August 29th when they're live stream, but that will remain to be seen. So for AMD, this is nothing new. For all of you that has followed AMD, especially since they went seven nanometer, all know that they had a similar issue when it came to the Zen 3 architecture. They had to make sure that the BIOS was up to date and there was a small delay and to know surprise there may be a small delay here too with these m4 processors but the most important thing is we want it functioning correctly we want to be able to overclock with no heating issues which is the most important thing we want to make sure that everything is working properly especially when they do release their new hardware not to say that all processors work perfectly fine when they first get released and we all know that's not completely true that there may be some faults especially when you are first in line to purchase their hardware but that's all a risk that we are willing to take or assuming to take especially if you want to jump in and be one of the first to actually have it and be the first to try out this generation of amd processors Japel had admittedly posted it on forums where he had mentioned that they may delay this AMD processor. And if you're interested in seeing that link right down below, it's in the description box. More than likely, AMD will release their processors in September still. You don't even have to worry about a October release date. Yay! If you're looking to update your system, you're looking to build a new PC, you don't have to worry you don't have to even wait until october but what makes this kind of funny is that intel's raptor lake will also be released during that date we all know that amd is going to be the storefront winner when it comes to this not being an intel hater as you know i have a ton of intel guides but to be honest we all know that amd is leading way ahead intel's really burdening themselves with their new raptor lake chips now they're saying you can even clock it up to 6.6 .6 gigahertz which is really great that is incredibly quick but the 350 watts come on intel it's not a workstation people that are going to build a pc is not going to want that hot of a processor but anyway to get to the point amd will not get at least that hot from amd standards they say it will be very competitive and we can't wait to officially see the actual specifications for amd's newest processes another thing i really wanted to share with you fam bam especially who are all excited to see five nanometer chips in action they do have a leaked photo of amd's Raphael with eight cores the 7700x as you can see right here it looks beautiful and it looks like an official photo. It doesn't look like it's been doctored in any type of way. It looks like somebody just took a quick snap. So supposedly the 7700X is up to eight cores and has up to 5.4 gigahertz in speed. This model is supposed to have 105 watts of TDP 
and the earlier models suggest from the Zen 3 uh, version of it was only 299 USD retail. But more than likely, we all know that things have changed, especially thanks to inflation, as we all heard the rumors about different types of price cost. Hopefully, it's not, it doesn't hold any water. Hopefully, it changes when it becomes more available. As all new chipsets, we all know how expensive they will be, especially on first release. If you watched my prior video earlier, I did mention the specifications or the expected specifications were aimed these newest Ryzen 7000 series chipsets and i'll share it real, real quick with you too right here as you can see the 7950x has 16 cores and 32 threads and a base clock of 4.5 gigahertz to 5.7 gigahertz with l2 and l3 cache of 16 to 64 megabytes the 7900x has 12 cores 24 threads 4.7 gigahertz of base clock and 5.6 gigahertz of boost clock of 12 to 64 megabytes and you get pretty much the idea here you could look at the picture more i will share the picture right down below if you want to take a look at it what you can notice mostly about the picture of the 7700x as it is placed into the beautiful motherboard which we can't wait to finally see it in action but anyway as you can see it it has the heat spreader spread out and the design is to keep the processor nice and cool prevents it from warping or damaging. Most of us are probably gonna try to keep it nice and water cooled. If not, that's fine too. I'm pretty sure that Be Quiet and Noctua already have standoff screws for their CPU coolers to install it on AMD's processors. But for all those who are interested in AMD's live stream, it will be at 7 p.m. Eastern time on August 29th. More than likely, they'll give us the pricing details, the actual release date, if it is going to be delayed in any sort type of way. We'll probably see the release of the X670 boards and the same thing with the B650 boards as well. When those do get released, expect everything to be sky high. The prices are probably gonna be pretty bad for mostly everybody who is just a regular consumer, just like the average person, just like me, who can barely afford these at crazy costs as it is now. It's gonna be incredibly high when it does first release. Hopefully my budget says yes, but more than likely my wallet will probably split in half and that's already gone missing and in hiding as it is now. So fam man, guys, let me know what you think of the information for AMD's newest processor. I would love to hear from you, fam man. If you feel like it's gonna be worth every penny, I heard the pricing could be as high as $900 USD for AMD's 7950X. That is a bit insane for a processor, but geez, that is a lot of money to put on a processor and the plus the motherboard as well which is probably going to cost about seven to eight hundred dollars especially if you try to buy a eatx board so fam bam guys let me know again down in the comments below what you think about amd's processors coming up and if there's anything that you look forward to it if you know anybody who is also into pc building or pc gaming make sure you share this video with them if you're not part of the big wonderful fan bam already make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more and don't forget to hit the notification bell and for all the newest updates make sure you follow my twitter handle right here as it is the same as my tiktok and ig as well fan bam guys thank you guys so much for watching and i can't wait to see what amd will offer and i can't wait to build the next generation of amd's pcs